Okay, so I've gone in and I've done that little hop and kind of finessed it a little bit and I've also dialed in the timing. I kind of finished it off and kind of overlapped his head uh, and then timed it out to get the sense of timing that I wanted. So here's a quick little movie uh, of that jump. So again, I'm not worried about the overlap. It's mainly just the, the basic animation on his body, which has the timing, a little bit of hang, a bit of overlap in his head after he lands. So that's the basics of it um, in terms of the core of his body. So from here, uh, I'm gonna do a quick little um, addition of kind of opening his mouth and getting a little bit of a smile as he's up in the air, just to add a little bit of personality to it. And then we'll get on to overlap, which will really kind of soften things up and really make it feel even organic. So let's take a look at the mouth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use, uh, I'll start with the, the lower ring. Let me zoom in so you can see that. I'm going to grab the lower uh, green circle, and I'm going to kind of keep this in profile just for now. Uh, and when he goes and jumps up in the air, I just want his mouth to uh, open up a little bit. So I'm going to keep it closed all the way through here. He starts to jump here. We can lower it. Um, let me switch to um, ah, object space. There we go. Uh, so give it a little bit of a kind of cracking open right there. And then on this one, I really want to lower that one there. And I'll copy that to my next key. Keep it open. I'll probably open it up even a little bit more here. I'll copy that to my next key and then see how that feels. Yeah, we could probably push that even more in there, open it. Next key, it maybe closes a little bit. I'm going to push it back so there's a little bit of negative space between his teeth. And then there I want it to squash and kind of go closed anyway, so that works. And then the rest of it, actually when he bounces up here, maybe it opens up just a little bit and then comes back closed. So yeah, just kind of create a little bit of looseness between his head motion and his jaw kind of opening up. So a little bit of opening there and then closing back down is good for the end. So yeah, let's see how that looks real quick. Just simple, actually, you know, let's add something else while we're at it. Uh, I was going to grab these corners and just give him a little bit of smile just to show him kind of enjoying his little hop here. Um, I forgot I was going to add that. So, yeah, same here. Just flipping through the existing keys that I've got. Uh, and as he's jumping up, let's zoom in so it's a little bit more visible. I'll just crank up that smile a little bit. Just to have him really enjoying <laughs> his little demo here. And even on this closed one, I can push that smile up. I'm starting to lose him. Here we go. Get that smile up there. And then maybe at the very end, as he sits back up and kind of settles, you feel the, the corners go up a little bit. I'll copy that to here. So yeah, now, even just by flipping through the keys, um, using that mouth control, just adding an extra little layer of animation to that. I'll turn off the curve so you can see it. Just adds a nice sense of overlap by having his mouth kind of open and hang at the top uh, and also a sense of personality too that he's enjoying this so uh, yeah just again simple controls uh, adds a nice uh, another layer of kind of extra detail on there so um, let's check out and see what the uh, the movie looks like with his mouth uh, involved now